let us go to question number 24. Now, here is an uneven picture ok. We will name it as A, B, C, D and E ok. Now, I am going to give you the options and you need to tell me which of the options are correct ok. Your first option is it has got five signs. The next option is it is a quadrilateral. The next option is all the sides are equal. And the last option is it has no corners. So now you have to tell me which is the right option among the four given options. The first one says it has got five sides. Shall we count the number of sides? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So is it correct? Option A is correct. The second one says it is a quadrilateral. So, what did I teach you earlier? A quadrilateral is a figure which has got four sides and one of the sides are equal, right? But here it has got five sides. So, my option B is not the right option. How about option C? All the sides are equal. See the figure and tell. Are the sides given equal? No. This, this figure is not the same. Similarly, D, E, C, E and A, A, C, A are not the same. So, my third option is also not correct. How about the last one? It has got no corners. See the figure. How many corners are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 corners in this picture wherein my option says that it has got no corners. So, which is the right option? Option A is the right answer. Shall we move to the next question? Here is the next question. You have to identify in this given set of line which is the longest line and which is the shortest line. So which is the longest? Is AB the longest? No. Is CD the longest? Yes. So my right answer will be CD. And which is the shortest? EF, right? So EF is the shortest among the three and CD is the longest among the three. Did you understand this? Shall we move to the next question? Now, my next question says that there are three lines in which AB is equal to 3 cm, CD is equal to 5 cm. Now, you need to find out what is the value of EF. How will you find the value of EF? So, it is nothing but AB and CD is the sum of both which will give us the answer EF. They have given us a hint that EF is equals to AB plus CD. Okay. So, in that case, the value of AB is how much? It is 3. 
and the value of CD is how much? It is 5. So 3 plus 5 is equals to 8 centimeter. So the answer of EF should be 8 centimeter. Is it clear? Now we are able to figure out this EF. The reason is because they have given us in the question that the length of EF is the sum of AB plus CD. That is the only reason why we are adding these two numbers and forming the answer 8 centimeter. So are you clear with this question? Shall we move to the next one? The next question is question number 27. See the picture here. We will name it A, B, C, D, E and F. Okay. Now, your question is, you have to identify how many sides this figure has. Your options are A, 5, B, 4, C, 6 and D, 3. Shall we count the number of sides? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So your correct answer is option 6, option C which is 6. Okay. And a figure which has got 6 sides is called as hexagon. Okay. So if you remember a side which has got 4 corners or the four sides wherein only one side is equal and the other sides are not the same that is a quadrilateral a figure having five sides is called as a pentagon and a figure with six sides are called as a hexagon okay shall we move to the next question so here your question goes this is a figure of a square now i am going to share the options and you need to tell me which among the following options is correct about the figure. So, your first option says it has got four sides. Your second option says all the sides are equal. The third option says all the angles are equal. And your last option says all of these. So, shall we see one by one? The first option says it has got four sides. Can we count? One, two, three and four. So, this is correct. The second says all the sides are equal. So, are the sides equal for the square? Yes. So, my option B is also correct. Option C says all the angles are equal. So, all the angles of my square are equal to 90 degree. And the last option says all of these. So, my answer will be all of these because all the information Whichever is given about the square is correct here. So, are you clear with it? Yes. So, we will move on to the next question. Question number 29. What shape is this? It is a circle. Now, similarly, I am going to share few information about you and you have to choose the correct answer. Okay, so my first option says it has no sides. My second option says it has no corners. My third option says both A and B. And my fourth option says none of these. So it has got no sides. 
am i correct can you see any side for the circle no so option a is correct it has no corners are you able to trace out any corners in the circle no so option b is also correct both a and b meaning this and this option that is true right and the last says none of these so my correct answer will be option c which is a and b that is a circle has neither got any sides nor it has got any corners okay so the last question for our today's concept now i will give you a set of pictures you have to identify me which among these is a triangle okay is it option a or option b or option c is this a triangle no because it has got a open ended side is this a triangle no it is an example of a straight line and is this a triangle yes so option c is the right answer because it has called all the three sides closed so are we clear with today's topic i hope you would have enjoyed solving the sums along with me and you would have got a better idea regarding the shapes and the lines